Well, it stopped raining at least, but it's still miserable. But it doesn't matter because it's suggested by you time today in Altering World because Hannah, hi Hannah, has told us to come. It's all the way over here, mate. We're not anywhere near it yet. Told us to come to Damo. Now, she says that we need to try the Zupli di Zucca and the lasagna, which is easier to say than the Zupli di Zucca. But did I say it right? Nice one. So let's check it out. Let's see if Hannah's right. Let's see if it is absolutely phenomenal. Adam. Hi, how are you doing? I'm okay. very good. Yeah, I'm really good. This is nice. You like it? Yeah, I love the place. been uh, from seven months. Only seven months? Seven months, yeah. Seven and months. Italian food? Italian food, authentic food. I did notice though, outside it says uh, new Italian concept. It says that because we have a brunch menu different from the evening menu because we have two menu right now. We bring in the authentic Italian food, the breakfast, with a mixture of English as well. So we're doing both of them. Uh, with and and of then in the evening, it's like a proper full-on restaurant. In the evening, proper food, proper Italian restaurant. This sounds uh, great. Well, I've got a list of things that I need to try because Hannah suggested. Apparently your lasagna is very good. Our best seller. Is it? Yeah, right. our best seller. I'm going to go meet your brother. I'm going to eat your lasagna. Welcome in. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too. Hi, Matthew. Uh, hello. How are you doing? I'm all right, yeah. bro. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I like the way you say Matthew. Matthew. I love it. Lots of food here, my friend. Yeah. So uh, we start with the home homemade focaccia on the house, as always. We got here the tomato one. Yeah. Olives, onion with rosemary, and breadstick. And so let me just get this straight. So I've already met your younger brother, Adam, Adam. Yeah. behind the bar. It's your older brother. He's the oldest one, yeah. Cook it. There he is. Popped his little head up. <laughs> he's, still, he's still cooking in there, he's not stopped. He's quite an experienced chef. I yeah. mean, he's worked for Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, he's been like, uh, since he's, he was 14 years old, so he started when he was 14 years old, to start from when he was a kid to work with a restaurant with Gordon Ramsay. It was like a big hit for him. Well, this is a big thing for me because we've not touched any of his other foods yet, but that focaccia, oh my God, your focaccia <laughs> is good. Perfetto. Thank you. Thank you. So the lasagna is very outstanding and easy recipe. It's very easy. We caramelize all the, um, the vegetables inside the pan with some uh, herbs and uh, tomato paste. Then we mix all the meat with the vegetables inside. We add the tomato sauce, some herbs, and we're gonna slow cook it for four hours. And then we start with the sheets, homemade pasta, fresh, bechamel, meat, sauce, step by step. So Hannah, who suggested we come here, says we have to try your lasagna. But also, I've seen a lot of people talking about your lasagna. Yeah. It's, it's becoming popular. kind of famous. Yeah, it's quite popular over here. Slowly cooked beef ragu, tomato sauce, bachamella. Do you know what's good about this though? I can tell already. It's got all the little crispy burnt bits around the outside. You have to go Shit. I'm going to say something now. Go on. Look, I sometimes get in trouble for saying because you can never definitively say it. But I think that might be the best two mouthfuls of a lasagna I've oh. ever had in my life. And if my wife's watching, because my wife makes a very good lasagna, this pisses all over yours, darling. How many ones is there? Honestly, this is this this is absolutely amazing. Thank you. If all this wasn't already here, I'd just eat this. So when Joel was in the kitchen earlier filming everything being made, he got so excited about the duck, yeah. the duck dish that was going on in there. So we have to try this. It's a slowly cooked duck ragu with slowly cooked tomato sauce. The duck's perfect, but your pasta, it's just the way you want it. All the pasta we do here, Matt, is uh, handmade pasta. So we do it from scratch. Tagliatelle, pappardelle, mal tagliati, gnocchi, all of it. You must have to get here pretty early in the morning. Yeah, they got some work to do in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... I think, I think my problem with this place now is that if I was to come in and only be able to have one dish, I wouldn't know what to have. Honestly, and I mean this, everything is incredible. Thank you, it's a it, pleasure. It, it, 
The pleasure's not yours, mate. The pleasure's mine. This is my pleasure. That was so good. Thank you, bro. Cheers. So good. <laughs> oh, yes. Have you even been to an Italian restaurant if you haven't had tiramisu? You have to get the tiramisu. You have to have the tiramisu. Semifredo tiramisu, savoyard, kimbo coffee, mascarpone on top. What are the words you're saying before tiramisu? Semifreddo. 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 And what's that mean? It's uh, quite cold. Quite cold. Quite cold? Yes. Kind of ice cream. Which reminds me, what does uh, damo mean as well, by the way? Damo is a uh, slang from Rome. So when you had something, if I tell you like, oh, did you have the tiramisu? And you just had it now. You say, yeah, damo. I had yeah, it. damo. Yeah. So it just means right now. Or from a long time. Like, have you had the lasagna? Yeah. Yeah. Damo I had yeah, it. Yeah, fucking damo. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Your tiramisu is exceptional, your food is exceptional. Thank you, you haven't offered me any of this yet, but I'll Go take on. it anyway. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Honestly, I love this place. So the boys are looking, let's get the chefs in, loads of food. Come on, everyone Marish, come in. Ricardo, everyone, come, come on, eat some food. Come, come, come. I need to try this, I need to try this. I uh, want this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mamma mia, as they say, and they do say, they've literally just said it, that was bellissimo. Of course, they're practically fluent in Italian, Joel. So, Hannah, who suggested this place, bang right, my friend, that place is unbelievable. Get yourself over to Old Jungle, just up from the tram stop as well, so you've got absolutely no excuse. And if you think you can do as well as Hannah and suggest somewhere as good as Danmore, let us know below. I'm a happy boy, mate.